how do we make sure the code which we wrote is of good quality let's see how we can use sonar lin to identify the quality of our code let's get started sonar lin is an extension or a plugin which you can use in any of your ides which can give you on the fly reports on bugs which you have created in your code with respect to the quality so these are not bugs which you have introduced in your code but these are code quality bugs as such so for example you would have assigned a variable and you wouldn't have used it so these are quality bugs right so you have created a variable but you are not using it so why do you want to create a variable if you don't want to use it at all right so these are some similar uh, or uh, easy bugs which we can identify ourselves and intelligi can identify but sonar learned can identify something extra so let's see what are all those so in this particular example i'm going to show um, the usage of sonar learned inside intelligi so you can try it out for eclipse or uh, any other it id which you are using right now so let's see what is sonar learned So I'm just going to go to uh, the plugin section and install the Sonar Lint. So I don't have the Sonar Lint installed here. So there is there is a plugin called Sonar Lint. You can go to the browse repositories and then you can identify. So if you notice here, uh, this is the plugin. It got updated two months ago. I just clicked the install button. So the plugin is getting downloaded. Uh, let's see. So let it get downloaded and then I'll restart IntelliJ. So yeah, I have, I'll restart IntelliJ and let's come back after the IntelliJ comes up. So IntelliJ is back up right now, and if you notice here, there is a new window which has popped up here, which is called the Sonar Lint. So this is the plugin which we just installed right now. So right now the plugin is automatically enabled, and then our files are automatically scanned. right so if you notice your no scanner is done on the current open file you can trigger this option so this will do a analysis on the current file which we have open right now i think i don't have any bug on this file because i have uh, very few lines of code i'm not doing anything fancy right so let's introduce some bug right so that we can see how sonar lint is behaving let's say i'm uh, creating a constant right and i am assigning it to some constant right let me run the if you notice here it automatically ran before i ran and there are some bugs which I have introduced here see it says unused private field should be removed and rename the const field to match the regular expression so it says that you should not have um, variable name with this particular pattern and also it says that remove this unused variable so these are just uh, some quality um issues which it has identified in our code there is something else uh, as well so for example uh, let's say i am assigning the number as 4 so you are getting a value of the number to the function and you are assigning it to 4 if you notice here it has got two more bugs it says this condition change this condition so that it does not always value it to false so if you notice here this first if condition is always false because we have assigned it to 4 right intel uh, uh, the Sonar Lint identifies automatically that okay there is a problem here and then you need to fix it. Same way with the introduction of new, so it says that introducing a new variable instead of reusing the parameter. So it says introduce a new variable instead of reusing the number parameter which somebody is passing. You are overriding the value, right? So these are some simple examples of uh, um, code quality bugs or the issues which we have introduced in this particular file and Sonar Lint. can immediately give you the results on uh, what are all those bugs also let's say if you want to configure them you can go and configure as well so if you see here you can see the uh, properties and then you can see what are the configure configured uh, um, uh, profiles which you can enable so if you have sonar cube in your uh, uh, in your firm or in your machine as well you can configure or bind it to the sonar cube so that you can get the same profiles and then you can use it all right 
so that is what sonar lent can do right so in the next video we are going to see what is sonar cube and then we can see how to integrate sonar lent into sonar cube but for now i know that okay you can use sonar lent to identify the code quality issues in your code locally without even um, having to commit it into a uh, into your repository or without even having to push it into a repository right so this is how you can get uh, the reports then and there from the sonar cube from your favorite id itself uh, that's it i wanted to cover uh, hope you found it interesting let me know if you want me to uh, make video on any specific topic i can go ahead and do uh, do that drop that in the comment section below if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet again in the next video thank you